Hi, Carly here. Hi, how are you? We're in isolation at the moment. We hope you are all in isolation and well and keeping all your families safe. We just thought we'd put together a few of the things that we're doing while we're home with some ball handling and some of the things that Harry are doing. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're gonna start with a warm up. So if you've got a skipping rope, grab yourself a skipping rope. If you don't, you're able to just jump on the spot do using the same footwork as what Harry's doing. I'm gonna just step out of the picture. We're gonna spend two minutes doing jumping. You ready? Ready, go. So just light on your feet. For people that are a bit more experienced, really push yourself at how quick you can do this. If you're learning to do it, just get yourself into a rhythm. Now we're gonna to go to one foot, so your right foot hopping. Sideways on two feet, going sideways. Good job, we're halfway. Another minute of skipping to really get your heart rate up and going. Good job, Has. Now you're jumping backwards and forwards. <laughs> you're right, keep going. Got 30 seconds to go. Good job. So front to back. Good job, Harry. And you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Okay, so now you're going to do your defense slides. You're going to sit down in your stance, nice and low. You've got your back straight here, chest open, arms out, and you're sitting nice and low. You ready? We're going for 10 seconds now. Ready? Down in stance. Uh, chest up, arms out, go. So only 10 seconds to really push. And stop. So down in stance again. We've got 20 seconds. Go. Good job, H. See how it's nice and smooth. You're sitting down. You're halfway. Nice, quick feet. Three, two, one, stop. We're going to go for 30 seconds first. You're going from side to side. Are you ready? I'll just hop out of your way. Ready, go. Make sure it's a nice smooth slide. If you've got more room, you're welcome to go further in between, but you want it to be at least three slides. Nice and smooth. You have 10 seconds to go. Keep making sure that you're sitting down in stance, that it's a smooth action. And stop. <laughs> So down in stance again, we've got 20 seconds, go! Oh, good job, Harry. 
the lake. See so how it's nice and smooth. You're sitting down, you're halfway. Nice quick feet. Three, two, one, stop. We've got 10 seconds, this is your last one. So go as fast as you can go. Ready, go. Chest out, arms out, keep it smooth for the last 10 seconds. As you get tired, you tend to start to bounce. So try really hard to keep it smooth. And stop. Good job, grab yourself a drink. Okay, you should be nice and warmed up now, sweating a little bit. We're gonna start doing our ball handling. So I want everybody to sit down on the floor. We're gonna start with our right hand. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds for each one. Now, the idea of this is to really work on those muscles that are the fine muscles in your hand. And they're, they're the muscles that control the ball. So for the next set, that's what we're gonna be working on. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds on your right hand, Harry. You ready? And go. Be really careful not to paddle the ball. Really using those ends of those fingers. Fingertaps above the head. So with your fingertaps here, nice and light in your fingers, as quick as you can go, hold your core in strong. It's all about making your hands as fast as possible. Down to waist or chest. Keep your arms out straight, making sure your arms are nice and straight. Holding the core strong while you do it. It's all in the fingertips. Keep your arms out long. Good boy, hey? Three, two, one, stop. Down now near your knees. Nice and 
nice and light in the fingers. Then you're going to do all. Nearly there. Concentrate. Three, two, one. Stop. Now you're going to go all. You go when you're ready. So making sure that you're going, going down. All the way down to your feet and all the way up. It should take you about 10 seconds. Nice and light. Your arms need to stay straight, holding that core strong. If you drop the ball, that's fine. Just keep going, keeping it light on your fingertip. Good job, Has. Three, two, one, stop. So now we're going to do some little crossovers. So down in stance again, H. Keeping this really low and really tight. You ready? We're going to go for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Boy, nice control of the crossover. Nearly there, let's focus for another 10 seconds. And when I count it down, you'll then do through the legs. And two, one, through the legs. Okay, so now we're going to work on some rip and goes which go with the ball handling. So when you're trying to beat your defender, you need to rip and go past them and then you're going to use your ball handling skills. So what we're going to do is grab your drink bottle and put, pop that down in front, that's your defender. You want to be about an arm length away in your stance and you're going to rip the ball nice and low right down near your shoelaces and you're going to take one step past defender with a ball over on this side of you protecting the ball and then you're going to do your pound dribbles. So it's going to look like this. So we're going to do a rep of seven of these with five pound dribbles. So we're going to do that seven times. You ready, Has? Go! Step 
boy. Good boy. Ready, go. You can mix up your pound dribble. You want to do some through the legs or cross over? Right now, I'm doing cross overs there. Alright. Step those. Good job. Go. Make sure you're balanced. more. Last one. Good job. Okay, that was awesome. We're going to add to that again now with a counter move. Now a counter move is when you go in one direction, you beat your defender and go into another direction. So it's one move and then a second move, which is your counter move. So we're gonna do our rip and our steps and then we're gonna retreat the ball. So we're gonna sit down in stance, keep the ball all the way over here in our arm bar. We're gonna slide back and then we're gonna cross over and go. All right, Harry, you show us. You ready? Go. Do it behind the back and through the legs, lift it up. Okay, two more. Okay, hopefully you've had another little drink and you're ready to go for the next set. So we're now we're gonna do some ball wraps. Okay, this is really about quick hands. So hands, we're gonna start with it around your head. 
We're gonna work down to your waist, then right down here to your ankles. All right, you ready? We're gonna go 20 seconds of each. <laughs> you ready? 20 seconds, go. Fast as you can. Two, waist, down to your waist, fast as you can. So when I go two, three, two, one for the next one, you're going down to your, between your knees and ankles. Three, two, one, ankles. Then when I do it the next time, you'll be doing figure eights through your legs. Figure eight. And then once I get to three, two, one, you'll be doing all. Three, two, one, all of them. seconds to go. Okay, really good job. So you nearly finished going through the whole of the first set of your program. When you get to the end in a minute, you're gonna do the whole thing again and the idea is to try and push yourself harder on the second time. So the last three drills that we're gonna do are gonna be final ball handling ones just to finish off. Okay, so your first one has step up. Okay, so our last three drills, we're gonna do a wide crossover drill where you bounce, you're doing crossovers nice and wide and outside your cylinder. And then we're gonna finish off with some little tight crossover and pound dribbles, okay? If you just watch Harry, we're gonna go for 30 seconds each for these drills. You ready? Wide crossover, ready, go. Job. you've got through the first set now what you need to do is go back to the beginning and go through the whole thing again just make sure now if you're a little bit tired that your technique doesn't go out the window 
really focusing on your correct technique. If you're unsure, go back to the videos and have a look at the footwork. Being really, really mindful of your footwork, your stance, how quickly you're exploding off the spot, how hard your pound dribble is and how low it is. They're just some of the points that you'll hear throughout the video where you've heard me say, make sure that that stance is like that. So make sure your technique is a good one. So go back and do that again, and then, you just, then you're done. This is something that if you can do three times a week, that would be sensational. Harry's doing it two or three times a week, along with other things. Sure, you're doing plenty of shooting, but this is stuff that you wanna keep working on too. Make sure your family stays safe. And that's it for Harry and I for today, and we hope you have an awesome day.